Cholo, cholo, cholo. What's up, YouTube? It's Gustavo de Foriba here, doing a thought rant. And I occasionally do some thought rants when I have some thoughts to rant about. So I'm gonna tell you why I don't think you should be a vegan for more than a month. Um, and I'll tell you my story real quick. Um, and and just, just, you know, this isn't an anti-vegan video. I think there's definitely some benefits to it. But after a month, it starts going downhill real quick. So here we go. Okay, so what happened to me, well, the reason I went, I actually went vegan for a month to try it out. Uh, because I actually had an ear, ear injury that I'm still recovering from. It's been like nine months or whatever. Um, I think I blew out both of my eardrums or something. It, it was really bad and I couldn't hear that well. Um, it was just real painful. And uh, I went to the music studio right before, um, let's see, it was right before New Year's. And then I was working on my music a lot. And then there was fireworks, like literally right outside my house because I was living in the hood in LA. And I think with that combination of everything, it just, my ears were just, I did, I did nerve damage. So I decided to go vegan to try to heal faster because, uh, you know, I was, you know, doing research and stuff and I figured, you know, why not? It might help, help. If it can help, it help then I'll, you know, do whatever I can. Um, cause I didn't know if I was going to hear again, to be honest with you, it was bad. Uh, so I did the vegan thing and, uh, you know, watch a lot of YouTube, how to do it right. And if you notice with the vegan, the vegan videos, there's always like a secret recipe to do it. It's never like, it's like, you gotta have this and you gotta have that and you gotta have this. And I was like, all right, whatever. So I did that, you know, bought a lot of vegetables and stuff. And there was, I felt really good at first, you know? At first I was like, yo, like, I felt like, just feel good, you know, lighter, you feel lighter, you feel uh, like you have more energy. Um, you have like more clarity of mind, stuff like that. But after like the end of, towards the end of the month, I started to feel weaker and I started to feel more tired. And I think my gum line was getting worse because my gums, I actually had them like really high. The gum line was really high. Um, so that uh, wasn't good. But with the, doing the vegan thing, it got worse. And my gums were really white too. Um, so anyways, uh, and I think my hair was getting a little bit thinner. I don't know, but and I also did the, the veganism because I wanted to lose some weight too, you know. I, that was one of the reasons why I did it because I figured like, you know what, I got to get my, my health on track so I can heal faster, you know. But anyways, uh, but, but so, I, so I stopped after a month. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. Start eating my taquitos again. And... Uh, and then I went the other way. I, and then I went almost carnivore. I went almost carnivore because I started to, like I, I ate some uh, chicharrones, you know, some pork pork rinds. I never really was into pork rinds, but I I tried it, you know, just to, you know, some hot spicy ones from the liquor store, whatever. And I I felt incredible. Like once I ate the the, the pork rinds, I felt like I was like I don't know, like ravenous, dude. Like I ate the whole thing. And I did that a couple times and I felt like, like my, my body needed it, like to heal. And uh, later putting the pieces to the puzzle, now I can kind of know why. Uh, and this is why I'm making this video to share with you guys. Cause um, I've been, like I said, I had my ear injury. I haven't made a, a video YouTube for like nine months or whatever. And there was days where I just, 
or be on in bed all day to be honest because well i'm unemployed now so i could technically do that i'm kind of <laughs> kind of disabled and unemployed dude but uh, that's another story uh but anyways so i was doing research and i found some other channels like vegan degeneration and this other guy i'll put the links in the description and the funny thing is that these people that are like super anti-vegans they're ex-vegans and they were they were vegans for a very long time for a very long time because i used to watch you know some other vegan channels like mike the vegan and the fruit girl and you know it just seems like like they were onto something right you know like they had you know they had it was like oh man i've been doing it wrong all my life i've been eating, eating, eating meat society has brainwashed me but now looking back at it it's like no society didn't brainwash you it's because human beings are meant to eat meat unfortunately so so anyway so so here's here's the scoop and this is why this is what this is the this is the this is the this is the sauce right here this is the chile this is the truth about being veganism uh the truth is that uh the truth is that human beings like i said are meant to eat meat and it's kind of weird because we have these teeth that look like monkey teeth like that look like we're supposed to eat plants but that's not that's the that's what that's what doesn't make sense right it's like well we look like we're supposed to eat plants we're, we're like smart monkeys right we should be eating plants well as it turns out um there was something that clicked in my mind in my head that it seemed to make the most sense and this is the, this is what it is right here this is the sauce this is the chile i watch a lot of you know conspiracy theory alien shit you know what i mean um uh, i've had experience with the jinn i've had encounters with demonic entities so i i believe in all that shit because i because i've experienced it you know i haven't experienced aliens but i've, I've experienced shit that i can't explain you know so there's a guy named stuart zverdlo and i'll put some stuff in the description you can check him out and he claims that he's was a survivor of the montauk project which is um if you watch the show stranger things that show is actually based on the montauk project where they used to take kids train them to how to be super psychic to do stuff um and they would do all kinds of weird ass experiments um but the truth is, is that uh, the the show is actually a, a, like a, a very vanilla version of of what actually happened. And if you if you look into you know MK Ultra mind programming, basic concept is they torture the shit out of you, create split personalities, so they they can then reprogram your mind and do like do stuff, right? Okay. So what he says is that he met a lot of, you know, aliens in the Montauk project and what, what he learned from Earth history is that um, for, Earth, for human history that, you know, Atlantic, to give you like a real quick summary, because it goes way in depth and he goes way in depth, but basically in Earth history, uh, Atlantis, was basically a humanoid earth hum uh excuse me a alien humanoid colony slash empire whatever and lemuria was a reptilian uh colony slash whatever and they coexisted on the same planet but they didn't really get along and they always had wars and shit so eventually they did a peace treaty and part of the and part of the peace treaty was to create a hybrid species so that's us they took human human like male human 
blood and spli spliced it with reptilian blood. You know, they're part of their bloods and they spliced it together. And we're more on the uh, human humanoid percentage, like maybe like 60% or above uh, mammalian DNA. That's why we're, that's why we look like humans. You know what I'm saying? But we do have reptilian uh, brains at the core. And we do have some things that are common with reptilians, which don't make sense, you know, biologically, if you actually, you know, look into biology, um, uh, the, the theory of evolution doesn't make any sense. And if you believe in the theory of evolution, you're an idiot because real, if you really look into it, uh, there, there, you can't really evolve a species because once you change it, the DNA, it becomes a new species. Um, and if you study DNA, um, when, when the DNA changes or mutates, that's called cancer. Um, and the body tries to fix it, you know, at least that's how I understand it. So technically, you know, mutating over time, over time, that doesn't really work like that. Uh, now he could possibly, you know, in the DNA, what's really, what's, what you see is that in the DNA, there's things that show up. So those sh things that could show up would be the ad adaptations that may look like we're evolving or whatever, but we're really just adapting our body. Our DNA is adapting to the environment. So anyways, whatever. So what's my point? My point is, that in the story, they created a hybrid, human hybrid, human homo sapien. And we are the, the we are that. Um, and that, so that means that we have both human, mammalian human and reptilian DNA. So, where am I going with this? I think that this theory explains why we have to have animal products. We have to eat meat. Um, because if we don't, we will degenerate. We can eat plants and stuff, but at the end of the day, you gotta get that meat. You gotta get that meat. Because like I said, your body will start to, to de deteriorate, degenerate. So the long-term effects of vegans, if you watch the vegan deteriorate, deterioration or whatever channel, they show, and it shows it like, long-term vegans, they get skinny as fuck. They get skinny, they look like they're starved. There's a lot of brain fog. Um, they look like walking corpses. And it's because the body's not getting the meat. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a lot of people that uh, on the YouTube that are ex-vegans are like, I, well, I, I, I switched back. And as soon as I ate that meat, I was like, God damn, you know what I mean? And people who are vegan, they're like, that doesn't make sense. How can you just eat meat and feel better the next day, like instantly? It's because your body needs meat. And that's why. Now you could do some science stuff and you could science explain it but it don't take a scientist to know that if you don't, then you're gonna get weak. I mean, and, it, and, it's, fun, and it's, it's, it's true, like you could, if you're weightlifting and you gain, get muscle, you gotta get that, you gotta get that meat. And everybody knows that like intuitively, but then they make these, you know, all these protein powders and all these drugs and shit. And people get, they don't, they don't realize that it's very basic. Good quality food, good quality health. You know what I'm saying? So it's, so you gotta have, you know, organic, um, farm, farm, you know, healthy, happy cows, stuff like that. But unfortunately that's, 
that's the chile that's the sauce so i mean <clears throat> so you can either agree with this theory or not agree with this theory <clears throat> or believe in it or whatever because technically a theory has to be you know uh it's just a model or an explanation until it's um until there's a better uh data to 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 uh to uh disprove it or whatever it's just a model right it's just a it's just a thought model um but that's the that's the best one that i could that i could that i could stumble across i don't think people really talk about this on youtube um it's just kind of like a a war against vegans and non-vegans and, and it gets political the animal you shouldn't hurt animals and stuff and I think you should be nice to animals. You know, I don't think we should lock them up in cages and shit. Because at the end of the day, that's gonna, that's gonna, we're gonna eat that. And if you eat, uh, 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 you know, animals that are all genetically modified and all like stuck in cages and shit like that, you're gonna, you're gonna eat that, and it's gonna affect your body. But if you have strong cows, strong chickens and shit. You're gonna be strong too. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a better, better quality of, of, of food source. So, anyways, that's my thought rant. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, put your thoughts in the comments, whatever. I'm not gonna argue with you guys. So, if you have like, well, science, 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 blah, 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 I don't really care because this has already been my conclusion. Uh, but unless you have a better, a better theory to explain this and don't tell me Atlantis is bullshit because we already have his historical documents the ancient Greeks already said yeah there was an Atlantis and the ship flooded and got fucked up and there's ruins outside you know uh, in the ocean that have been discovered all over the world and then you know we have pyramids all over the world that like you know, the ancient the ancient Egyptian pyramids were supposedly created more than ten thousand years ago because they have water damage on the side. So don't tell me that that's Atlantis is bullshit because I already know that there was something to that. You know, so there's some truth in that. Okay, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Who? <laughs>